Hey guys, uh, this is Stephen Hadhazi, Public Insurance Adjuster. I am here today to talk to you about how to use Google to derive some of the measurements on the properties that you're working on. Let's go ahead and sign into a Google account. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, Google Maps and we're going to type in an address. Uh, let's go ahead and type in my home in Hawaii. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to Map Labs. Okay, it's right over here on the left hand side. We're going to click Map Labs and we're going to enable distance measuring tool. There's some other tools here that you can enable too if you like. And we're going to save changes. And so that should save it into your Google account where you don't have to do that again. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on satellite. And then we are going to zoom in as close as possible to the home. And this is my home here, but there's a little bit of uh, tree coverage over this one. Uh, so let's just pick a neighbor's house. Uh, maybe this one here. It's a nice gable roof. And so just, just so you guys know, this tool is fairly accurate. Uh, I've compared it against some eagle views, and it was within tolerance. You know, one, one and a half feet. Uh, certainly, certainly within tolerance. And that, that's going to vary uh, depending on how close you can zoom. In some places, uh, Google Maps will allow you to zoom in closer than, than other places. Uh, you know, there's some places that are restricted, such as areas near airports or military bases. And so, you know, the imagery is going to vary. But all in all, uh, the, the measurement tool is fairly accurate. Uh, you know, remember, guys, these are, you know, these are just estimates that we're doing. Uh, then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come down here to the bottom left and we're going to click this little icon that looks like a measuring stick. Okay, so what we're going to do then is we're going to come over here and we're going to click on this end of the house and then click again over here. Now it's roughly 35 and a half feet. Let's call it 36 feet. And let's go ahead and open up another tab because we're going to use Google for some measuring. Uh, so there's 35, okay, and then we're going to come over here and we're going to click again, and that's going to be 95, okay. So I don't know if y'all knew this was possible, but 35 times 95 equals, and Google has their own little built-in calculator there. So you can do all the math you want to right into uh, right in Google's uh, web browser. Uh, so 33.25 is what we're coming out with. Uh, let's go ahead, and by the way, if you, if you uh, haven't changed it, you can change the, the units from, uh, from metric to English right here, okay? Uh, if you're an iScope user, you could then just come straight over here, come over here, open up iScope, click in 33.25 and use the pitch factor. Okay, it's got it built in right into iScope's calculator. So let's go ahead and click 612 and see what that comes out to. Okay, so in this, in this uh, scenario, it comes out to 37.24. And back to the, uh, the Google map, uh, once you're finished measuring something, you can always press reset and it'll remove those, those measurements. You can always measure things like fencing, so we know that this is 148 feet. Uh, or let's say you wanted to know how far it is from your back door to the edge of the water. You can see right here from my back door to the water is 194 feet. 